What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to all of the Gold Squad. Gold Squad represent folks. Put a hashtag Gold Squad in the comments right now. Also drop a like on the video. Uh, we are looking for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now, let's get right into it folks. 1.3, look at Bitcoin still under, or at least right now it's still under 32,000 right there. Ethereum still below that key level of 2,000. Um, XRP has been riding this 59.60 cents. I mean, it's still all red on the market today. Look at this. Couple things down, like, couple things down huge today. The biggest gainer, also, wow, look at that. We do have a couple things up huge. Uh, NEM is up 23%. Ravencoin, 17%. Hedera Hashgraph is almost breaking that 20 cents. That's pretty good right there. Um, yeah, we drop we drop below 1.3 trillion right here. Volume still 66 billion. I mean, I think there's there's two options here. We have a fifth leg of this bull run at the end of this year. Like I said, we're just going to continue on a boring ass summer of just snail movement snail movement through the summer and then a huge huge run up at the end of the summer uh which would basically if that happens in my opinion it would make this look like a blip okay this thing look look like a blip um but uh, nobody can tell you if that's going to happen for sure there's so many external factors this is not about just charts this is about what's happening in the world <clears throat> so we will see but I mean, we're getting our INX refunds if you're in Canada. Um, I'm getting like 10,000 USDC. I will be keeping that in case we go into a full on bear market uh, or if we go like another 30% down or something. But one thing I want to say, I, I retweeted a tweet that said this before. If you're still here and we're down like 50% from all time high, like congratulations because you're basically like... I think the tweet said, you're the people I want to I want to eat at my table. And that's facts. Now, we're going to talk first about the Ripple win yesterday. The small win inside of the court. Um, if you haven't seen the live stream, it's two hours right here on my second channel. You can go and click this and you will be able to watch us celebrate the win. I've time stamped it. I've time stamped it so you can skip all the way to the celebration of the W or you can really watch the call and watch the whole thing if you wanted to. But let's talk about why this is actually a W in my opinion. Because basically this dude Hinman has to do a deposition now and um, that's an out of court testimony. And basically look at this. Okay, this is the most important uh, sentence. If a network on which the token or coin is to function is sufficiently decentralized where purchases purchasers would no longer reasonably expect a person or group to carry out essential managerial or entrepreneurial efforts the assets may not represent an investment contract so sufficiently decentralized the only thing centralized about ripple i mean about xrp is that ripple holds so much of the supply in an escrow right we know that Whereas Ethereum, that's not going on, and Bitcoin, that's definitely not going on. I mean, there's an argument for Bitcoin hash rate being decentralized or centralized, but <clears throat> um, if XRP got rid of that problem, wouldn't they be sufficiently decentralized? Because he said that he has said that Bitcoin and Ethereum are sufficiently decentralized. He has said that, so meaning they're not securities, meaning they're not securities. But we will see. I think I think he holds the keys. Hinman Hinman has some of the keys, and we're gonna get them when he does his deposition. But I don't know. I'm not keeping up. I'm not a lawyer, so we will see what happens. Genie right here with some key points. Number one, Ripple has been working with regulators since day one. Ripple has was already working with 40 to 50 central banks in 2018. Quantum computing has a big role to play in the blockchain. 
once you achieve or once you have atomic settlement between two central banks it's game over let's take a look at this clip i think this is bob way right here watch what he says very good clip ripple actually took a very contrarian view and ripple actually took a very contrarian view and actually said no we will be working with central banks regulators and banks to uh, make sure that our solution is widely adopted uh, and which is why I'm, I'm actually employed by Ripple because uh, so we actually work very closely with about 40, 50 central banks across the globe, including Bank of Thailand. So Ripple has taken that approach of collaboration and education, as Mansa mentioned. I think apart from education, collaboration is also extremely key, especially in the world where technology uh, keeps outpacing regulation. So one day we're talking about AI and blockchain. The other day we are talking about uh, uh, self-driving cars and drones and the third day we're talking about quantum computing and its impact on blockchain so i, I mean i don't envy uh, regulators uh. technology is outpacing regulation that's a genius thing way to put it right there that's what's happening and they are too slow like i feel like the internet wasn't even the internet didn't even get its full regulation really i don't know damn moving on we got ben gravis right here he says, just an idea, but what if XRP is painting a huge first wave expanding diagonal? Now, if you look at this, like, this looks attractive. Like, that's why this tweet did so well. Because this looks really attractive. Um, I mean, I, I haven't been charting. I haven't been charting XRP, but let's go. Like, if that's what it's doing, I'm, I'm ready. Now, look at this. Thor chain has been attacked and drained of 25 million in Ethereum. The blockchain protocol has paused the network. Uh, you can't see it. Paused the network to deal with the attack. <laughs> Decentralized, he's saying. Stephen Cole. Uh, that's kind of hilarious. Um, yeah, they just halted the, the thing. They just halted it. Paused the network. How is that even possible? Moving on, we've got a little commercial from Ripple right here, which is pretty pretty like corny kind of let's see what you guys think money should move like information quickly efficiently and cost effectively they they're saying retweet if you agree come on ripple you're begging for retweets bro okay let's watch this he's got it i've got it let's get it Runs on RippleNet. So there's a commercial. What do you guys think of that commercial? Uh, the top comment right here. Biggest scam in crypto. Look at look at this, man. Like, what is going on with this coin? What is going on with this company? Moving on, we have Swiss Bank Signum is issuing NFTs for the orig for unoriginal Picasso. It's divided into 4,000 NFT shares. You can buy it for $1,087. Um, so this is kind of insane. They're tokenizing this painting. Hold on, let's let's show you guys the painting. This painting right here. Um, this one. This is the t painting they're tokenizing. So, Signum Bank, if you guys look up the news about Signum Bank, they've been doing DeFi shit for so long. Like they're going all in on crypto and this is this is how you know Anonymous is waging war against China, Elon Musk, <clears throat> with a new token. I'm not going to mention the name of the token, but this headline is pretty scary right there because we've been having talks about a cyber attack, and what if they blame it on Anonymous? That's all I'm going to say. Bank of America reportedly approves Bitcoin futures trading. Bank of America has reportedly launched a service enabling some of its clients to trade Bitcoin futures. So that's pretty crazy. The bit large, one of the largest banking establishments. Also, Warren Buffett, if you don't know, literally put all his bank stocks and all his stuff into Bank of America. Um, I'm not sure how much that was or, or anything, but he did. He went hard into Bank of America. Last thing, Binance is doing some dumb shit again. They're tokenized Apple, Tesla, and Coinbase stocks. They're bowing out of them. They're removing that service. 
Yeah, because you can't just go and tokenize stocks, bro. Especially just randomly tokenizing Apple stocks and Coinbase and Tesla stocks. Like, what are you doing, dude? I, I don't understand. And, and you can probably go back on my channel. Let's try it. Should we try it live on camera? Sort by oldest. Let's look for Binance tokenizing. Um, Binance, I know I made a title about that. Binance tokenizing Apple stocks. Let's look. Because I guarantee you my reaction was like, what the hell are these people doing? And how are they, um, how are they even allowed to do this? So it doesn't look like we're going to find it, but um let me look a little bit more come on we can find it there is definitely a video though there is definitely a video man i probably missed it already and you guys you guys are like screaming at the thing at the the screen saying you missed it but okay this is still three months ago okay okay not gonna find it but i guarantee you you can find a video of me reacting to that so they're having problems. They're too big to fail, though. They're just going to comply and then move on. It'll probably hurt their business. I hope it hurts BNB, kind of, so I can get in at, like, 20 bucks or something. I don't know. But that is all we got. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Crow,